while Britney arrived back in 1999, it's fair to say she's had her highs and her lows. But now she's back looking great with a new sound and a huge UK tour. Plus she has two men in her life, her current boyfriend Jason Trawick and this chap in the pink shirt who's about to interview her. Brittany, welcome to Daybreak. Thank you. I heard you specifically flew all around the world just to see us. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to come and play over here in the UK? The crowds over here are just, for some reason, so electric and um, mm -hmm. so much fun to be with. And the show requires a lot of interaction with the audience, so it should be fun. I'm very excited. Yeah, the other good thing about Britain, of course, is the royal family. I read that you've invited William and Kate to come to your show. Yes. Do you think it'll happen? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they're very, very busy, but if they could squeeze it in, it would be very cool. They are big fans of Day Break. They're probably watching right now. You could actually ask them to camera now. You guys are totally welcome to come to my show if you like. And take me too. If, if yeah, you want. and you're welcome too. Yeah, William's a big fan of the Oops, I Did It Again video. Oh, really? The red outfit. Oh, cool. He loves that. He loves that. He loves a lady in red leather. Let's talk about life as well, because you've got real life, you've got work life. How's Brittany life at the moment? Are you in a good place right now? Um, yeah, I'm in a very good place. Um, I'm busy, I'm doing what I love. Um, my family's great, everything. I'm finding my my whole click with life. If you could meet the Brittany from sort of 11, 12 years ago when you were just starting out, what would Brittany now say to Brittany then? Oh, well, hmm, Brittany then. Uh, I'd probably say, you know, just have fun and, you know, uh, take it slow and, you know, don't go too fast and just, yeah, make sure you, you know, treasure the moment. Now, the kids have just had birthdays. Yes. I think. So they're five and six now. Yes. Is that difficult age for you to make sure you see them enough and sort of have them with you at most times? Um, well, I have them, you know, with their father 50% of the time, so they go back and forth. They've been doing that for a while now. So um, when I'm on the road, they come with me. And they love being on the road. When I was younger, I was always on the road and doing stuff, and it's just, it's always exciting. I always wonder what it's like to see through kids' eyes, what it's like to see their mummy up on stage. Oh, they're, they're in awe. They're like, they come home and they, like, copy all the dancers and the dancers moves and they try to get on their heads and do spins and do all these things they'll definitely probably be in the entertainment business definitely you turn 30 mm -hmm. this yes. year i think it is it december 2nd december the 2nd i was, I was joking I, I remember are you looking forward to celebrations for turning 30. yes i am i'm going to be on tour so hopefully me and the dancers will get together and do something really spectacular and celebrate with thousands of people yes it'll be fun I wish I had parties like that. <laughs> so because it's your 30th, mm -hmm. Daybreak's decided to get you a little present. Okay. I thought, what do you get Britney Spears? And I thought, actually, there's a clue in one of her songs. What? Give me a sign. So I bought you a sign. There you go. Oh. All these years you've been saying, give me a sign. Sign, I finally got it. I don't know what it is. I think it's an exit sign or wow. something. Well, so thank I'll, you. I'll give you that, Britney. Thank you. And I'll make my exit. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank bye. you. Bye. Baby, one more time.